webinar series from Sonon Academy. In this training, I'm going to show you the new Sonon customer portal on app. System owners can now access the new My Sonon app on their smart device and a refreshed customer portal as a desktop version. Sonon's new customer portal offers simple data and experience and a smoother navigation. I will go through the registration process first and then explain the features of the customer portal. If using the computer, navigate to my.sonen.de, then click on register. If using a smart device like a smartphone or a tablet, search and install My Zonen app, then start the app and click on register. Once you click on register, a new window will appear where customer's email address must be entered. This email address must be the same as the one that was used in the commissioning assistant when commissioning the Sonen battery system. This is an important step because the registration will be successful only if the same email address is used. After you click next, Sonen will check the email address and verify it. Then a confirmation request will be sent to the customer. If the address is not verified or there has been some spelling errors, an error message will be displayed. After the email address has been verified, the customer is asked to create a password. Now some customers may have already received an invitation email from Sonen to join the customer portal. So always check with the customer. If they have received the invitation email, just follow the instructions in the email to activate the Sonen account for the customer. All you need to do is to create a password by clicking on choose your password now. This shows the window that customers will create and confirm their password. The registration is successfully completed and the last step is to log in simply by using the email address and the newly set password. Normally, customers can access the portal either in a browser in the computer or by using My Sonen app in their smart device. They can log in with their Sonen account consisting of their email address and their password. Now, let's explore the features of the new customer portal and My Sonen app. After successful login, customers can view the interactive dashboard where they can see all the available products and services. By selecting the respective icon on the dashboard, customers can view a summarized information of that product on the right. For example, here I have clicked on the PV array on the roof. I can see a green tick indicating that everything is up and running and the PV system is generating 5.4 kilowatt at this point in time. Now, if I click on the icon for household consumption, the system tells me that the house is currently consuming 4.9 kilowatts. To see the status of zone and battery system, click on the battery icon. Again, the system is telling me that the battery is functioning normally and is doing what it needs to do. The system is backup ready, which means the customer has installed a backup product and the current state of charge is 100%. To see the live view of the energy flow, click on Live State from the left-hand side menu. By clicking on each icon, a short description of the parameter will appear. All parameters are color-coded to make it easy for the customer to visualize the system operation. PV generation is yellow, the battery is green, the electricity is gray, and the consumption is blue. What we can see here is that 2.9 kilowatt of household consumption is being supplied by 0.2 kilowatt of PV generation, battery discharge of 2.6 kilowatt, and grid import of 0.1 kilowatt. Note that the data resolution here is 5 seconds, so this means the values seen in the live state are refreshed every 5 seconds. Next one is performance. This section displays the historical overview of PV generation, home consumption, and the state of charge of the battery. The power graph presents the different energy flows in relation to time. You can hover your mouse cursor over the graph to see the exact values for the energy flows at each point of time. 
You can also choose a specific date at the top of the graph to view the system performance on that day. The accessories section below the graph shows details of any accessories, for example, sonar protect activity. The legend above the performance graph shows the different energy flows displayed in the graph in different colors. To make it easier to analyze the power graph, customers can enable or disable each energy flow. Here I can take, for example, the production of the graph or take consumption of to have a simplified view of what has been happening during the day and how the system has been performing. If you scroll down on the performance page, you will see the statistics section, which provides simplified and easy to understand daily, monthly or yearly statistics. Once you click on the date, you can select a previous date or choose month or year to see the monthly or yearly performance. On the right hand side, you will notice that two pie charts are also shown here. The pie charts always refer to the time frame shown in the graph and give customers an overview of independence and grid purchase and self-consumption and grid feed-in. Now let's have a closer look at the pie charts. The production chart represents the PV power in the selected time frame. It gives customers an insight of self-consumption and grid feed-in. Self-consumption is a part of the generated PV power that has been consumed either at home or stored in the battery. Grid feeding is the amount of the excess PV power that was fed back into the grid. So here, for example, 63% of 40 kilowatt hours of PV production was either consumed at home or stored in the battery. And 37% of the 40 kilowatt hour of PV production was fed back into the grid. The consumption chart represents the household consumption in the selected time frame. It gives customers an insight of independence and grid purchase. Independence is the part of the consumed power that was not taken from the grid. Grid purchase, as the name suggests, is the amount of power that is purchased from the grid. Here, for example, 70% of 33 kilowatt hours of total consumption at home was supplied either from the PV or the battery, and 30% had been imported from the grid. Moving on to the next feature, Zone and Community. This gives customers an overview of Zone and Global installations and the number of new installations globally within the last seven days. The zone and battery section from the menu on the left provides relevant details about the unit. The first sub-menu is Overview, which provides information about the system. Under My Zone and Battery section, you can find the model and serial number, the installed battery capacity, operating mode, whether it is self-consumption or time of use. Under Status section, you can view the battery state of charge, the number of charge cycles, and the backup buffer. A useful feature here is that customers can easily change the backup buffer if they have installed a backup product like Sonar Protect. Just click on Edit at the Status section and change the backup buffer to a desired value and then click Save. Under Accessories section, any available accessories will be displayed. Here, for example, you can see the status of the backup system installed, which is a Sonar Protect, maximum output power of the Sonar Protect, and the set backup buffer. It's also showing a green tick, which indicates the Sonar Protect is connected and activated correctly. In the Details submenu, customers can access more detailed information and technical data of the system, for example, the installation date and address, Battery module details like the total number of batteries installed, maximum output power of the battery, number of charge cycles, battery technology which is lithium ion phosphate and the software version. In the download submenu, customers can source and download the operation manuals of the zone and battery unit. 
Next one is help and support, which shows the contact details of the local service team. It also gives the ability to the customer to explain the technical issue they're experiencing with their system and send a service request email to the service team straight from the customer portal. Customers can also personalize their Sonan account under My Account menu. Just click on the white arrow next to Customer Name on the top right corner and then click on My Account. Customers can view their personal details on their About Me section. However, customers will not be able to change their personal details here. To change or update their personal details, customers need to contact the service team at Sonon Australia. Changing the Sonon account password is easy. To change the password, just access the password section and type in the existing password, select a new password and then confirm it. And finally, customers can also change their privacy settings in the settings section. To give their service partner permission to monitor the Sonian battery system online, customers need to make sure that the service function in privacy permission is activated. The service function is enabled by default, but here is an important note for installers that the service function is a prerequisite for the partner portal. Therefore, if a customer disables the service function, installers will not be able to view and monitor the system online in the partner portal. If customers have multiple Sonnet systems either at different installation sites or installed in the same location, they can select the desired system in the portal to view the monitoring data and information specific for that site. To configure this option for those customers, please contact our service team at Sonon Australia, who can easily set up multiple systems for the same customer in the portal. Once multiple systems are configured correctly, customers will only need to click on the white arrow next to address on the top right corner in the portal to view available systems and then select the desired system to access the data specific for that installation. Thank you for watching our training on Sonen Customer Portal and My Sonen App. Please give us a call if you need more information or if you have any questions.